Hi, Cougars, it's Mrs. Bellatash. I'm glad to be with you today. I hope you had fun playing the bird beak bean game last week. The point of the game was not to win. The point of the game was to learn that different beaks go with different food. If you have the right beak for the right food, you can survive. If you don't have the right beak for the food, you're out of luck. I'd like you to get out your science notebook and I'd like you to make a chart like I did in my science notebook. The title is Bird Beaks and Food. And instead of making a T chart, I made like a three column chart. The first column is the name of the bird. The second column is the type of beak. And the third column is the food that it eats. Let's get started learning about beak types. Today, we're going to start learning about birds and their beaks and the food that they eat that goes with that beak. So I'm gonna read this book called Beaks and it's by Sneed Collard III and it is illustrated by Robin Brickman. Birds have no teeth, no hands, no antlers, horns, or spines, but birds have beaks and beaks are enough. Birds use beaks to get food, but not all beaks work the same. Small beaks peck. Sparrows hop along like little kangaroos pecking at things that look tasty. Their favorite food is dry seeds. When they find a seed, the sparrow uses their short cone-shaped beaks to crack the husk and swallow the seed. Sparrows can move their upper and lower bills from side to side. This helps them handle even tiny seeds without dropping them. Heavy beaks crush. Like sparrows, many macaws eat seeds. Unlike sparrows, macaws eat very big seeds. With its heavy, sharp beak, the scarlet macaw cuts through the fleshy green fruit of an Indian almond tree. When the macaw reaches the hard nut, it crushes it and gulps down the nutritious seed inside. With such powerful beaks, macaws are able to dine on seeds that other rainforest birds can only dream about. Long beaks probe. Long, thin bills help hummingbirds reach the energy-rich nectar they need to survive. Different bills fit different shapes of flowers. The white-tipped sickle-bill hummingbird inserts its long, curved bill into the opening of the heliconia flower. With its long, tube-like tongue, the bird drinks up the heliconia's sweet syrup and then zooms away to the next flower. Hooked beaks tear. Eagles and other birds of prey are hunters and their beaks are designed to help them eat flesh. Bald eagles feed mostly on fish. They fly low over a lake or a stream and snatch their prey with their long talons. An eagle takes its fish to a perch or nest. Then the bird uses its sharp hooked beak to strip away the fish's scaly skin and pick the meat off its bones. A flamingo's beak looks ridiculous until you see how the flamingo eats. Flamingos feed with their heads upside down. Standing in shallow lakes and marshes, they draw water through their beaks by using their muscular tongue as a pump. Special strainers in the beak filter out the tiny plants and animals that the flamingos eat. A skimming beak. Like the flamingo's beak, a skimmer's beak looks like an accident. The bottom bill is longer than the top. The skimmer puts its backward beak to good use. To hunt, the bird flies with its lower bill slicing through the water surface. When it strikes a fish, the bird snaps its beak shut, trapping the fish in the scissor-like grip. A swishing beak. Spoonbills have flat, paddle-shaped beaks. 
To find food, spoonbills wade into shallow water and swish their open beaks back and forth. At the same time, the birds use their feet to stir up mud and the animals in it. Like skimmers, they hunt by touch, snapping their beaks closed on insects, fish, and other prey. A stabbing beak. A heron also wades, but it hunts differently than a spoonbill. A heron walks slowly through the shallows, pausing frequently to study the water. When it sees a fish or other animal, the heron quickly stabs its beak into the water and seizes its prey between its bills. Herons are strong birds and can catch and swallow surprisingly large fish and other animals. A plunging beak. A pelican fishing is one of nature's most thrilling spectacles. When a pelican spots a fish, the bird folds its wings and dives straight down at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. As the pelican crashes open-mouthed into the water, the pouch on its lower bill puffs out to net its prey. After the water drains from the pouch, the pelican swallows its meal, a prying beak. A crossbill looks like it would starve to death with its screwball beak. However, the crossed tips of its beak allow the bird to pry apart the scales of pine cones. This exposes the cone seeds which the crossbill laps up with its sticky tongue. Okay, so here are my notes from the video. I've got the name of the bird, I have the type of the beak, and I have the type of food. So I have two pages of notes. Now I'm on my engineering packet. And this is, today what I want you to do is start thinking about what kind of beak you want to build. So the first thing to do is think about what kind of food do you want your imaginary bird to eat? So if you want your bird to eat small seeds, you probably should not you have a hummingbird beak. If you want your bird to eat small fish and plants in the water, you probably shouldn't have a prying beak. Make sure that the food goes with the right type of beak. So, so that's what I want you to do today. What kind of food and what type of beak go together and which one are you going to choose? This is one of my favorite projects. I'm so glad that we're going to do it this year. I'll see you next week for more of Engineering a Bird Beak.